Paris, my old friend. Good to see you face again. More welcome though yon trap and that old mare. For the wife is in a swoon and I am all alone. Harris, fetch thy mare and take us home. The wife and I came out for a quiet glass of stout and a word or two with neighbors in the room. But young Clary, he came in as drunk and wild as sin and swore the wife would leave the place with him. But the wife, as quick as thought, said, no, I'll bloody not. Then struck the brute a blow about the head. He raised his ugly paw and he lashed her on the jaw. And she fell onto the floor like she were dead. Now, Harris, well, you know, I've never struck an angry blow, nor would I keep a friend who raised his hand. I was a conchie in the war, crying, what the hell's this for? But I had to see his blood to be a man. By his coat, spun him round and took his throat, and beat his head upon the parlor door. He dragged out an awful knife, and he roared, I'll have your life. Then he stuck me, and I fell onto the floor. Blood I was from neck to thigh, bloody murder in his eye. As he shouted out, I'll finish you for sure. But as the knife came down, I lashed out from the ground. And the knife was in his breast when he rolled over. With the wife as cold as clay, I carried her away. No hand was raised to help us through the door. And I've brought her half a mile, but I've had to rest a while. And none of them I'll call a friend the more. For when the knife came down, I was helpless on the ground. No neighbor stayed his hand, I was alone. By God, I was a man, but now I cannot stand. Please, Harris, fetch thy mare and take us home. Oh, Harris, fetch thy mare And take us out of here In my nine and fifty years 
I'd never known That to call myself a man For my loved one I must stand Now, Paris, fetch thy mare And take us home 